MyTech FWH firewall hanger with a 2-hour fire rating can be installed before any gypsum drywall has been installed. What is innovative about the FWH hanger? It maintains a space between the supporting member and the carrying member to allow for drywall installation. To begin installation of the FWH hanger, place it on top of the wall or header with flanges tight to the face of the framing. Next, nail the top flange into place with six 10D common nails. Insert the floor truss or joist into the seat of the hanger. The gap between the end of the truss or joist and the front face of the hanger can be 1 8 inch or less. Make sure that there is at least a 1 and 7 16 inch gap maintained in the hanger extension flange, allowing for easy installation of the drywall. Tapping the back of the hanger towards the truss or joist with a hammer will aid in maintaining these minimums. Install the prescribed amount of 10D by 1.5 inch nails into the carried truss or joist. After installation of truss members, the floor sheathing can be installed and framing can be completed permitting drywall to be installed in a weather-protected environment. The FWH hangers carry their full list of capacity without any drywall in place. For drywall installation, the FWH-T template may be used to cut a slot in the drywall using a rotary tool. After the slots are cut in the drywall, slip the drywall into place on the wall framing through the extension flange area of the FWH and secure with code prescribed fasteners. Contact your MyTech sales representative for more information or visit our website 